y'all. So I got this this beat I'm working on. It's being tracked out from the MP Patch Bay, of course, going into the Taz Cam mixer. I thought I'd bring this video because um just to show you the 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 nuances of mixing when it comes to this from a two bus to like a, a tracked out mix and what I got going on with this mix. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just going back and forth to trying to make things to sit in the mix properly. Um, the two bus is sounding great but what you what you run into is that things will get muddy and things will sit perfect in the mix. So if you can get a, a, a nice leveling game that I'm playing here mix going on then you can do everything from there. So right now I got the drum bus um, soloed. I got a, a kick that's laid on top to give the more thump to the drum bus. Don't worry about and I got it being side chain. I got a side chain in the sample and the leases. That's all the side chain is that's going on right there with the leases. And then from there they go get something up in the two bus and they run to the, the RNC compressor. Probably sound good. So with, with this solo, I'm trying to see like what could be, you know, making sure the bass is not being uh, muddied up with the sample. Cause I got that uh, duplicated in a low pass while the sample is high pass. That low cut below 20 hertz got to come out. So that's what I'm messing with right now. It's all, it's all a mixing game and it's a leveling game. If you can get that leveling to sound good, the rest will fall into place when you bring it back in the box. Yeah, that's pretty good right there. And trust, this might sound good on your side, but I'm trying not to get myself ear fatigue, so I got the volume really low on my headphones. Um, Cause you know, in the first 24 hours, you know, that shit gonna sound good, but when you come back the next 24, that shit might sound like a whole piece of garbage. So I've been trying to test my, my my mixing abilities. If I can come back to that mix 24 hours later and that shit still sound the way how it sound. Don't worry about me, we got cocaine and coffee here. We're gonna get wide and have a big so in certain cases, I might exaggerate the mix, take out the bass, or bring it down enough so that way it's not doing too much overshadowing of the other frequencies. So as you can see right there, I got the span open, I got the the BXV3 mix open as well to carve out any resonance. From my window, I, I don't know if you can see that peak in the 3K, 5K range of that spike of the drum bus. And that's probably the, the the highs and the siblings. You know, so I'm, I'm adjusting that. Again, leveling, trying to get that right before I do anything else in the box. That 300 hertz might get a little resonance as well. But if that drum bus can sit perfect in the mix with the bass line, of course, the bass can like definitely throw some things. So as you can see, while I'm adjusting the, that the RNC compression, I'm gonna exaggerate, and you're gonna hear right there, right there. That's the bass line doing that. So I have to. Uh, what I do is I, 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 um, I push the threshold all the way back, and when it starts clipping, I push it. I, I pull back on it, and I get two to four db compression on it just so that way it can get subtle clean compression right there i gotta make sure the kick is hitting in that 30 to 50 hertz that layer kick that i have and then you see right there the trick with the sample and the baseline can get tricky for different beats that you do so i i, I try to like give and take what i cut out of the original sample I don't want to have the, the, the duplicate track doing enough because that can, can make the, the, the mix sound very thin. Um, a lot of technical stuff going to it, but trust me, like these terminologies, they, they I find it funny how we come up with all these terminologies and what the mix is supposed to sound like or what it's not supposed to sound like. But when you in it, those, those terminologies, they, they like context clues. They come right to you so you can really call out what sounds right and what doesn't sound right. with the 
and mix it just to give it space just so it could breathe especially in that 700 to 2k range where the, the where that's the most audible for us to hear and once that's like carved out for the vocals for any rapper to sit on it's gold right there I got my master section on the master track. Little things that I use like the um, the black box and the, um, the master dust. Anything to call out more resonance. So now you just can see it's, 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 it's perfect. At least for the most part what I think it does. Overall I think I'm happy with the mix. see right there in the 20 hertz i'm cutting that out i'm carving that out because you gotta remember like with the drum bus you want to carve the frequencies to fit to sit in the mix and that's just mainly the goal of the whole track to begin with and so far i think i'm achieving it but you know Big party. 